Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use a sweep feature in Design Spark Mechanical. Okay, first we're going to go ahead and open the program. We're going to say new, new design. I'm working in inches, so we'll go ahead and change that to plan view. I'm going to go ahead and have my snap to grid on. So our first line is going to be up 3.5. One of them is going to be over 5.5. And then another one will be up 3.5. Go ahead and select to click off. We're going to grab our um, Create Rounded Corners tool. Go back to 3D mode. We're going to put in a uh, 2 inch radius. Put in another 2 inch radius. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, spin this. Go ahead and get the circle tool. Let's rotate this a little bit more. Select just the end point, grab the circle tool, go to the three, get our circle tool. Now I'll go ahead and create a um, 2.5 circle. Click that middle spot, create another one, 3.5. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go up to, uh, let's go to front view. I'm going to pan over a little bit. I'm going to get our circle tool. I'm going to create a two and a half circle and click from the center. A 0.5 circle. I'm going to get our line tool. We're going to go from that point there down to the start of that, down there. Now we're going to grab our trim away tool or T on the shortcut on the keypad. I'm going to click select. Click off. We're going to drag a marquee around these. We're going to get our move tool. We're going to come over here and check create pattern. Then we're going to drag this down to the bottom. Now we're going to twist this until it knows we want three. I'll go ahead and click off. I'm going to control minus. Now we're going to go ahead and spin. We can go ahead and let's go to pull. We go ahead and get rid of this one, so we'll hit delete. Then we're going to go ahead and select that outer ring. We're going to go pull, sweep along a trajectory. So we're going to hold down the control key, get all these elements. Then we're going to say full pull. All right, now we're going to come back and we're going to get these elements here. Hold down the control key. We're going to say pull. We're going to pull in this direction to a measurement of 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay, now we're going to pan down. Now we'll go ahead and spin around to our other end. We'll click on that one. We're going to go to plan view. We're going to go ahead and grab our circle. Control plus to zoom in. We're going to come to that point there, 0 0.25, 0 0.5. Let's kind of zoom out a little bit. We'll get our uh, line tool. We're going to go from that point down to there. And then we're going to get the line tool again. That point down to there. Going to go ahead and get the trim away tool, trim away that centerpiece. We're going to go select the click off. We're going to drag a marquee around what we just created. We're going to say move. We're going to create pattern. We're going to drag this down to the center of the circle. And we're going to click and drag until Design Sparks knows we want three, which will be right there. Now we're going to select the click off. We're going to go spin to rotate this. Now we're going to pull. Now we're going to select these by holding down the control key to get all of them. Now we're going to add 
And we're going to pull this way to a measurement of 0.5. Now we're going to select the click off. Okay, here's our part. This could be um, a pipe that you might have to, uh, you know, you might have to screw this into a vent. Uh, so now you have your, uh, your front port or your bottom port, and then you have your top port. It looks like this I kind of did on the wrong angle, but that's okay. I guess you get the idea. So, and then afterwards, you can add your, you know, fillets if you need to. I'll we'll go ahead and view this from top. This should actually be, this piece should be here and same as, same as the other ones, but that's okay. Uh, the tutorial here was just to show you guys how to use the sweep feature. Um, okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Uh, if you found anything useful out of this or got anything from it, please consider liking and subscribing. And thank you for watching.